the first thing God began to deal with me with is that the body of Christ in so many retrospects is becoming weary and well-doing. There is a spirit of weariness upon our pulpits, upon our choirs, upon our sanctuaries, upon our souls. And when you come into the house of God now, there is another spirit that you're feeling in the midst of all the singing, in the midst of all the preaching, in the midst of all the teaching, in the midst of all the hype. There is a spirit of weariness. Or simply put, there is a spirit that makes one tired and overwhelmed. Anybody want to talk to me? I love the Lord, but in some areas, I'm just a little weary. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. Weary waiting, weary praying, weary... Fat. Don't, don't look at me like that. We, I, 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 I'm going through the process, but I, I'm going through some changes inside of me. My joy is not as full. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. How to do the same thing over and over and over again, but I'm battling with this spirit called weariness. Tell your neighbor, so you know what I'm talking about. How weary, weariness does not have a face, but it'll sit on your shoulders. How weariness won't speak, but it'll get in your mind. Weariness of a shot doesn't wear any clothes, but it'll tell you you can't make it. The Bible says, Be not weary. Tell your you can't get weary now because what you're doing is about to pay off. What you've been hoping for is about to break through. What you, I'm preaching better than you're responding. Tell your neighbor away with weariness. There is a spirit that is lurking at the doors of our churches because the Bible says be not weary and well doing. Then he says he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So the adversary knows that the only way you can miss this moment is if he gets you frustrated with what you're dealing with. Amen. <laughs> Anybody been dealing with frustration? I'm just frustrated. I'm just sick of it. I'm just tired of going through changes. I'm tired of going through motions. I know y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Huh? But tell your neighbor said that is the making of a soldier. Be, be, come on, we're just talking. Be, 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 be. Be not weary and well doing. So here we find ourselves in the book of Hebrews. And the writer begins to write, he said, Wherefore, seeing also we are compounds about with such a great cloud of witnesses. He's saying, look, there are people who have already crossed over to heaven who are sitting over the balconies looking at us saying that you can make it. But the first thing he begins to say, the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to lay aside. Amen. Lay aside every way. See, when the spirit of weariness lurks, if you're dealing with weights, weights are designed to make you heavy and to put pressure on you. Uh, I'm going to just break it down for you. There's some people you're counting that's just too heavy. Oh, 
spiritual oh come on now there is a spiritual thing that's going on with you the enemy has tricked you you're not pretty enough you're not cute enough you're not skinny enough y'all ever talk to me you're not smart enough and he's messing with your self-esteem but somebody say the devil is a, a, don't you look at me like that you're in the mirror and you're not satisfied with yourself you're in the mirror looking at what you can do better you're in the mirror saying how beautiful you're not the devil is a liar David said I will encourage myself if I tell you this you better love yourself lay that weight aside get over the emotional roller coaster you, you have to lay it Aside. Yes. Lay it aside. And greater than the next thing God began to do with me with yes. you, yes. how to lay aside the image of what people tell you church looks like. Because many of us are looking at other churches to model how our church should be. But when God's getting ready to do something yes. fresh, you ain't going to find nothing that look like your church. You ain't going to find nothing that sound like you ain't going to help me. You got to be willing to be odd for a moment. If you can be odd for a moment, God can do something. I need somebody to say, I'll be odd for a moment. I'll be the ugly duckling for a moment. I'll be the sore throat that sticks out for a moment. But when I'm driving in it, living in it, walk, or you ain't going to talk to me. No, that's not. allow the outside images of people and their ideas to affect what God has told you. Amen. You've got to lay it aside. Lay aside every weight because a weight leaves you Heavy. Yes. See, let's deal with it. There, there is no way I can enter into the house of God and come home and still be heavy. Amen. You don't want to talk to me. There's no way I can come out of prayer and still be heavy. Heaven. Mm -hmm. Heaven. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Apostle. Lay, lay aside. You're going to have to decide. To set it away, to separate yourself from it. Lay aside, the Bible says, every weight. You cannot decide what you want to keep. This next moment, you can't be picking what you want to choose. There is no eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Everything must go. Look at them say, there is no eeny, miny, mo. Everything up for one minute. Just lift up your hand and say, I'm Lay aside. Lay aside. Lay aside. Every way. Come on, we're just talking. Every way. And every sin. Because there are some things that are weights. But there are some things that we're dealing with that is sin. It is a transgression against God. Now, before we go there, God says, I want you to deal with this entity tonight. It is a sin against God not to have faith. Amen. He says, without faith, it is impossible. I know you thought I was going to be, uh-uh. See, most of us are not, our sin problem is faith, not having enough faith. 